Hi everyone and welcome to my Morning Report Analysis videos on Tuesday the 19th of February with me Richard Perry Market Analyst at Hansit Markets. Well, markets are fairly flat, nothing really doing um, in terms of the direction. Very slight move back towards the dollar. We had a little bit of a dollar corrective move yesterday, that's unwound a little bit today. Um, US was on President's Day yesterday, um, but basically what we're seeing is the markets are sort of consolidating in front of this um, latest round of US-China trade talks, uh, which um, continuing in um, Washington today. Um, pretty much across the board, the dollar is showing mild gains, um, but little real move. Little um, sort of underperformance on the Aussie and the Kiwi, but yeah, generally speaking, we're seeing um, a slightly less positive risk appetite coming through. Equity markets have just slipped back a shade. Um, US markets were closed yesterday, but futures are, are slightly ticking lower today. Um, and uh, that sort of impacted through the European session rather than the Asian session, which was pretty much dead flat uh, overnight. Um, so yeah, we're sort of waiting really for steer from the US. We've had a little bit of... Um, UK data out today, whereby we had the um, uh, wage growth, uh, which slightly underwhelmed um, on um, the uh, wages growth. 3.4% uh, was um, expected to rise to 3.5%, but 3.4% uh, was where it came, in line with expectations on unemployment. Looking towards the um, German ZEW uh, economic sentiment, at uh, at 10 o'clock, for some reason Reuters are not giving me uh, any uh, uh, forecast today, but um, other sources suggest that there's going to be a slight improvement to 14.1 negative from minus 15 spot zero. We've also got the NAHB housing market index, the uh, National Association of Home Builders, um, and that's expected to tick a slight bit higher to 59. But uh, my chart of the day is Euro Swissy. Now, what we've seen on Euro Swissy is basically the market consolidating b within this range over recent months. Um, it's been a pretty um, solid range, um, and you traded around 1350 being the pivot. And the breakout last um, few weeks ago above that pivot turned the market more positive within that range um, and it's basically traded back towards that uh, pivot once more but you've got this uptrend intact um, trading a shade above the moving averages which to be honest are all flat and reflecting a, a range play but still you've got this sort of um, pivot going on and you're trading uh, above the support of the pivot within this uptrend Momentum indicators have got a very slight positive bias, nothing too significant, RSI broadly flat, but the MACD lines and the stochastics are just starting to sort of bottom out again. Uh, coming back to the fact that we're at that uptrend, I think that that could be another situation whereby we've retreated to the uptrend and it starts to find support and the fact is you're trading at that pivot line so added basis of support there as well. So you're looking for the market to likely to turn back up again euro regaining a little bit of upside initiative possibly to retest those um, recent highs around 14.07 and um, back towards possibly t testing 14.45 again which is that February high but as I said back towards that pivot generally has been some basis of support and given the fact that we've got the uptrend line as well the momentum indicators just beginning to turn a corner again this could be a little chance to buy. Uh, on the hourly chart nothing really doing little sh slight shade towards a, a more positive configuration but yeah nothing really doing uh, on those momentum indicators but uh, initial resistance um, 1380 below, below there uh, that uh, 1407 1408 resistance of uh, last week so I wish you good luck in your trading today and I will speak to you later